U.S. sanctions are now being imposed to bring down governments uh, uh, everywhere. You have similarly in Iran uh, yesterday big announcement of the collapse of the Iranian economy and the IMF attributed it to U.S. sanctions. So this is uh, what the Trump administration is trying to do also vis-a-vis -vis Nicaragua. Uh, Trump said yesterday total uh, blockade on uh, Cuba if they don't smart up. This is pure bullying. Uh, it is completely against international law. It creates uh, havoc. It's hard enough to achieve economic progress, but when uh, the U.S. is using its uh, political power to break other countries, the results uh, absolutely can be devastating. And we see it in Venezuela that it was the kick that pushed Venezuela into this catastrophic uh, spiraling uh, decline and hyperinflation. This is it's always blamed in our press on uh, on Maduro, but people don't even look and understand how the U.S. has the instruments of sanctions, blocking access to financial markets, uh, pushing enterprises into default, blocking trade, confiscating uh, the uh, assets owned by the Venezuelan government precisely to and with the design of creating this kind of crisis, because the idea is if if the pain is enough in, in the thinking of people like Bolton, then there will be a, a military overthrow. So they're trying to create a, a absolute disaster. Well, what's so stupid about these American policies, these neocon policies, is they do create disaster, but they don't achieve even the political goals of these nasty people like Bolton. It's not as if they're effective and nasty. They're completely ineffective and totally nasty at the same time. But Congress in our country, nobody looks. It's unbelievable that you have this basically one one man show of Trump doing damage rampaging around the world there's no oversight at all